Great thing about premium handmade cigars is they actually get better with age. When you're ready to store cigars at home or at the office and age them, having a humidor is the way to do that. So my very first humidor was an empty cigar box that I put a little humidifier in. It was a great way to keep a few cigars at home, but it's certainly not the way to age cigars over time. So if you're really enjoying cigar smoking, having a humidor is definitely the way to go. And there is a wide range of both looks and prices that are on the market today. So I wanted to take you through a couple of examples and some of the things to keep in mind when you're ready to shop for a humidor. So first and foremost is the aesthetic and the outside of the box. You are really buying a piece of furniture. This is something that you could potentially have for years to come or even hand down to generations. And so think about where you wanna put this in your home, what your decor looks like and what'll look good. Do you want it to blend in? Do you want it to stand out? Um, and then also think about the size of the humidor that you'd like to have. So in terms of size, there are humidors that hold 10 cigars. This one is about 50 cigars. This one is 110 cigars. And I put that in air quotes because every humidor, that the capacity really depends on the size of the cigar that you smoke. You're gonna get a lot more Coronas in here than you are Churchill's. So that's something to think about when you're looking at size. I would also encourage you to go a little bit bigger than you think you need. Because the nice thing about having one of these at home is that when you find cigars that you really love and you wanna buy more of, or cigars that are hard to get and only available for a limited time, you wanna make sure you have space or else you're only gonna need another humidor down the road. So one look at uh, an entry level humidor, this one is from a line we carry called Savoy. We carry Savoy because these are the best that we found at this price point in terms of quality. So Savoy are made in Asia, so it keeps the price point lower, but you can tell this is a beautiful box. This is a zebra wood veneer. And then on the inside, it's filled with Spanish cedar. And Spanish cedar is the wood that most humidor, humidor manufacturers use because it absorbs the wood, but it doesn't rot or crack, and it will protect the seal of the humidor over time. And that, besides the aesthetic and making sure it's something that you like, is really the most important part of this. So when you open this up, you can tell it's got the Spanish cedar on the inside. This is a movable divider. This is called a humidifier, and this is what you fill with distilled water about once a month. And as long as you do that, your cigars are only going to get better over time. The other thing that the humidor comes with is called a hygrometer. This is an analog hygrometer. It measures the percent humidity inside the humidor. 70% is perfect, 65 to 75 is fine, especially with these analog hygrometers. They're not particularly reliable, but it gives you a good idea of the range. As you get more experienced, knowing the feel of your cigars is really how to tell that things are working well inside the humidor. You can also get a digital hygrometer, which tend to be a little bit more accurate. But most importantly, it has a really nice seal. So this humidor is $140 um, and just really nicely made. It has some nice weight to it. And another option to consider besides a humidifier like this, if you don't want to deal with filling it with distilled water once a month, they now make these amazing humidity packs. This one is from Boveda. They are probably the biggest ones on the market today. And this you would just lay inside the humidor or some humidors actually come with a little magnetic cover to put them in. And you leave that, they last about two to three months. Once they get hard, they're no good anymore. You just replace them, they're about $4 a piece. So that's sort of your entry level humidor, both in terms of size and price point. And then I also have LA Blue humidor. So this is truly the top of the line. It doesn't get any better than this. And it's not just about aesthetics, it is also about function, but you can tell right out of the gate, this is a beautiful piece of art in addition to being a very functional humidor. So they're using a red tinted sycamore beautiful inlay. You can tell it's designed to look like a beautiful cigar box. And when you open up an LA Blue, they're just as beautiful on the inside as they are on the outside. They're using a sweet Spanish cedar that's been planed so many times, it's satiny smooth. It takes them four to six months to create one humidor. And this is the result of the work of about 35 to 45 different craftspeople. 
So the LA Blue humidifier, besides being beautiful, you can also close this if you only have some cigars in here, you don't have to use both. This humidor is designed for quote unquote 110 cigars, again, dependent on the size of the cigars that you're smoking. But you fill this again with distilled water about once a month. These are made in France. And then the hinges are Swiss, the hygrometer is German. And when you open and close this, I wish you could hear that, maybe you do, it actually makes a whoosh sound. When Ellie Blue creates a humidor, they actually make the box and then they cut it, which results in the best seal on the market. So not are they only beautiful, but they're incredibly functional. It's also $4,500. So it really is budget dependent as you make this journey into what humidor you want to bring home. But the most important thing is to keep in mind is that you've made an investment in your cigars. You want to keep them happy and healthy. They're coming from hot tropical places. They need to feel like that when they're in your home. And the humidor will let you do that and only improve them and their taste and their quality over time. Thank you so much.